Oh. Uh, we shouldn't, uh... <laughs> <laughs> and his shield served right into him. <laughs> Welcome back, back to, to the basement, basement, the friendliest place on YouTube. YouTube. It's time for another episode of You Choose How We Play Breath of the Wild. And today, we're gonna unlock a fairy and try to upgrade some of our stuff. And we're gonna see if we can drop down from three to two heart containers. Let's watch. All right, guys, we are here in Kakariko Village, and uh, we're gonna pay a visit to a, a fairy who is lacking power and needs apparently to be- Oh, a bloopy. Needs to be paid off in order to, um... Yeah! Hey, like them apples. Oh, Aww. man. But you know what? You just Drop got 40, 40 rupees. rupees. That's awesome. Yeah. We're almost That's at, why they call me Bloopy King. We almost have enough to buy a house. They call you the Bloopy King? No. Oh. I made that up. I call you the Poopy King. <laughs> I feel so bad shooting those things. I know, they're adorable. They drop money, though. Yeah. I'll shoot anything that drops money. <laughs> Bankers. Yeah, out of video games, real life. Remember a long time ago, we were playing some... People. Some game. Ooh, fairies. And, uh... I was like, a, I'm just a shoot everything kind of guy. And you're like, yeah, at church, at work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, uh, among many other basement dwellers who have commented in recent videos, Solar Storm Bits said, Han Oben commenting a lot, I love your guys' channel. You should try to find a fairy fountain and stock up on fairies. Well, look what Phantom Armor Link is doing right now, Solar Storm Bits. We are at the, mine, uh, mine. Oh. the Kakariko Village Fairy. We have not unlocked any fairies yet because we'll be doing all that on camera with you guys in this series. But here we are at the site of the first one, and we're going to see if... Uh, we're gonna see if there's an opportunity to um, upgrade yes. this phantom armor. Nice job. That All was right. a long reach of a fairy. Oh. oh, the sound is so creepy. Yeah, I hate these. I had no idea what was even going on. Oh. Um, I'll pass. Can you think of any other Oh, Zelda? you have to listen to the story to, to free them? Boy. Sweet boy, please listen to my story. I'm in terrible pain. <laughs> I'm not a spiky plant. All I need is your money! All your money! Don't ask why. Just I, hand it over. I need to buy something. Are there I'm any... an all-powerful fairy and I need to buy lipstick. Oh, yeah. Are there any other, um... Zelda games where you have to unlock the fairies, like, with money? I don't know. Hey, Basement Dwellers, comment below what do you think the fairies use the money for? <laughs> oh. I really want to know what you guys think. Yeah, and remember, we are a family-friendly channel. <laughs> yeah. We will delete any uh, comments that we need to. You know, <laughs> yeah, just in case we need to. Ooh, shiny, so sparkly. She's got s sparkle necklaces. Yeah, my uh, sparkle bracelets. Recently turned seven-year-old daughter loves the fairies in this because they're so. They're you know they put on makeup the way a seven-year-old girl does. <laughs> just, yeah, just <gasps> over the top, shiny. <laughs> Lots enhance of accessories, away. all the bracelets and necklaces, and cannot enhance. Uh, at this time. But what, what does that mean? Or may I don't know. Can we enhance our pants? <laughs> <laughs> you mean can we relieve our greaves? That pant. <laughs> um, that pant needs an enchant. Now check out those pants. Yeah, it looks like this can this can be enhanced because it's oh the blue is what we're wearing. Okay, we can enhance the pant. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, we're ready to do it right now. We away. have quite a few of those. Should we get the full set and then enhance? Because we can enhance that whole set if we get it right now. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, we could. It'll only make it five, though. I mean, the Phantom Ar Armor is still going to be better. But ah. Let's just do the pants for now. Basement Dwellers, if you want to see us grab the other Hylian clothing and stuff, I almost, I do kind of want to pick up the Sheikah clothing though, because like being able to sneak around is really nice, especially for Ooh, grabbing. And I want the climbing stuff. Yeah. Uh, do you know where the climbing stuff is? I know uh, where some of it is. Not off the top of my head. I know where one piece is. Okay. Let's go into Kakariko, because we don't have to talk to Impa mm -hmm. just going in there. So we're going to go in there. We're going to buy our Sheikah clothing because we have enough money to do it. Oh, yeah, that's just a purchase, isn't it? Right. Yeah, now some of you guys have said we should go by the house, and trust me, we will, but not today. We, we, that would make us very Don't mind me, broke. I'm just dropping in. All right, time to buy you. 
Oh, welcome to my thing. It's perfect for hunting and stuff. It's expensive, but I don't care. Boom. Yeah, we're loaded, lady. Stealth up. <laughs> See, the stealth is great because I can you can run up to like a high tail lizard and just grab it off a tree. Mm -hmm. Like you don't have to sneak up to it. It's also great for like grabbing a horse. Yes, totally agree. Look at that. But it did cost 600, 700, 600, 12, 1900 dollars. But it was worth, worth it. it because now we can look like chic. Yeah, we can look like a sheik and we can execute a sneak. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think? Should we go get a, a new suit so we can climb a peak? Uh, <laughs> maybe we should take a peek at Hestu and his missing seeds. That's a great idea. Missing seeds time it is. Um, uh, exp since we have so many great weapons and nowhere to put any other weapons, we do think it's probably about time we expand our uh, inventory as well. She so, said, ouch. Sorry, I've twisted my ankle. Let's see here. Oh, I'm better now. Sorry, you had to see me like that. I'm pathetic. Say, traveler. Where'd you get that object? Well, you see. Oh, oh, you're explaining. <laughs> yes, I see. She's she a little slow. Eh? Blah blah blah. Okay, we'll do. In any case, blah blah blah. We're not doing that. We we are gonna go a lot faster than this. Tell you that right now. All right, all that you did ask about the climbing gear earlier, and I thought about it for a minute, and I remembered that all of them are inside of shrines. Yes. So maybe uh, in the future, when we do an all shrines episode, we can we can make those shrines our priority. Yeah. Can, yeah so three of those will happen in one episode uh, at least, but those three all all at the same time. Do you guys want to hear something cool I learned? Yes. It's a little tidbit of information. Ooh. And then I have an interesting question for you to be able to put your answer in the comment section below once I'm done. Little, little tidbit of information. <laughs> yeah, little is my favorite size of tidbit of information. Oh, that's great. Okay. The uh, term priority is not meant to be pluralized. People say it's one of my priorities. Mm -hmm. But actually, like, the definition of the word priority is, is that there plural? is one. It is before all else. Oh, really? So, yeah, like, you know, prior is before. Oh, sure. So, so like, the definition of the word first. Right. You can't have firsts. Right. Right? It's... That's, that's just what it is. So, anyway, um, that means that if you have five priorities in your life, you're probably spreading yourself a little thin. So does that mean that top priority is um, redundant the way like Definitely. pin number is? Because the N in pin stands <laughs> for number. Personal identification number number. Yeah. No! You. I can see you. Yes. He is so fat. Those I monsters stole my rockas. I would hug I love Hestu. this guy. Hey, I know. Were you just dwellers. thinking like how cuddly he looks? Yeah, he looks like a friendly grandpa Although I do with feel a goatee. Like, I feel like his, uh, his eyebrows would drown me. Le priceless maracas. Uh, Facebook dollars. Los maracas priceless. Comment below. <laughs> would you hug Hestu? Yes or no? It's okay to say no. Maybe you're not a hugger, or maybe, maybe you, you are a hugger, but Hestu's not the kind you'd hug. That's, that's, that's really He's just fine. too tree-like. I would hug a Hestu tough. though. Although if there were a group of Hestus, I would not group hug a group of Hestus. I would I would prefer one at a time. That's a lot of blue moblins, and you're wearing your sneak sheet. Not for long. Yeah, it's time to cause some serious damage. Oh, I'd be, oh. I was gonna say I'd be so nervous if I was them and then before I even, if I were them. They've made you their priority. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is so much better than dying constantly. <laughs> you guys, don't you agree? Yeah, thank you for telling it was us fun to, to watch armor. us. It was fun to watch us die a lot, you know, early on, but when you die every two seconds, Gets old. Yeah, just ask Lady Die. Oh, <laughs> too soon. I mean, die like her hair is dyed. Oh, not okay. die like how she died. Okay, she didn't dye her hair. Die like her name is Die. Oh, not like how she died. Yeah, well, she. <laughs> <laughs> the inflection and the timing was top notch. Hey, you Ted. know that's you me. I'm are known a comedian. For that. Here we go. <laughs> Bam! Night Shield is badly damaged. Well, Whoa. maybe uh, we shouldn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just like shield surf right into him, <laughs> and he's still afraid. Oh, hey guys! Look at him cowering in fear. Uh, uh did I mention this last episode? I think Phantom Armor Link. I has just realized a how much voice. he looks like broccoli. 
delicious. Okay. Oh. So, so Phantom Armor Link sounds like Batman. What do you What do you mean? How? Well, look at him. Oh, he looks like Batman. No, he's gonna sound like Batman. I've owned your maracas. <laughs> I need more weapons. Has to. <laughs> Has to. Alfred. We got so many seeds. Should we call Hestu Alfred? Comment below. Do you want us to call Hestu Alfred for the rest of the uh, series? <laughs> Alfred. Give me a shield, Alfred. I'm assuming we want weapons. Uh, Stash? yes. I would agree with that. Hey, especially since we can go to the college. Oh, you skipped almost. it. It's so adorable. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so used to skipping it here. We'll watch another one. Okay. Um, Hestu, have you played the Super Mario Galaxy games? No. In either Super Mario Galaxy or Super Mario Galaxy 2, there is something that's a lot like Hestu. Really? And it's funny because it will remind you of Hestu when we play it one day on the channel, instead of Hestu reminding you of it. Okay. But they to he does a little dance, and then he holds up his things, and they go... And really? Can it's r uncanny how similar it is. Oh, shield? Yeah. Well, you were thinking I was going to get a bow, didn't you? Oh, I or thought... maybe another weapon. I thought he would have a different color maracas, but then I remembered it's just the stuff that shoots out of the maracas that's different. Oh yeah, you're right. It's like blue, green, and red. Okay, so we got Hestu. Now where are we going? Oh gosh, um, let's go to, oh, well, maybe we could try upgrading our chic stuff. Or maybe we could go back to uh, Va Ruta and collect that heart container. That's a great plan, yeah, because you guys try have, to turn it into stamina. You guys have been, uh, chatting with us about yeah we got that we can grab the heart that. container but we can't uh we just don't want to talk to the console that's there correct uh oh. let's see if i can find some comments to that effect <laughs> yeah with that statue near hatino village you can make your hearts into stamina or backwards Thank Who said you, that? Athena Barta. Oh, thank you, Athena Barta. Said that 15 hours ago as of the recording of this video. Wow. Um, Chase Brower lets us know, you can swap that container for stamina as far as I'm aware. And I wrote back, we'll probably double check off camera without saving just to make sure it works. Wrong. Uh, what you might want to do, Ted, right now is save, hard just save. just in case it doesn't work. Because <laughs> we don't want to be stuck with four hearts. That's true. Hey, do you guys know you can abbreviate the word the words four hearts into one word farts, farts. <laughs> or all right cool mm. <laughs> and now we just leave <laughs> like we're gonna get out of here all right now we need to oh exit the area right? uh hatino yeah we need to get to hatino which we've we have never been is this a travel episode we're we gonna travel we're we gonna ride a horse maybe are we gonna get to hang out with uh our good friend horse named um, placehold? Placehold? <laughs> Maybe. Or greet look? Greet look? Oh, somebody commented not too long ago, you're uh, pronouncing greet luck wrong. But what? no offense, greet you guys are awesome. <laughs> Something like that. I, I, we're pronouncing it like Google said to pronounce it. Sorry, I'm only of Swedish ancestry, not Swedish design. Uh, awesome Sauce says, get the heart container and transfer it into stamina at the devil statue and hate no village. Auto correct. Hey, Auto cool. whatever. Let's go. Oh, yeah, that was a pain. I did that a couple of days ago on the train. Uh, I, I unlocked that shrine. So I ride a train mm, to work. It's very plain. And I took the I took the switch with me, and I'm riding the train, and I'm Dude, just walking insane. around as Link. <laughs> Sorry, just keep going. I'm just <laughs> rhyming things with Ain. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I walked all the way out here. In the rain? <laughs> yeah, well, it was uh, drove me insane. Oh, okay. Link's clothes, they were so plain. Oh. That's right, said Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> Master Wayne. Master Bruce. Master Wayne. Master Wayne. <laughs> Wayne. So people just put the foot to my bed. Master <laughs> Wayne. Master Wayne. Master He sounds like, um, he sounds like he could be an enemy boxer in, uh, Punch Out. The, the uh, Mike Tyson's <laughs> Punch Out. Or Punch Out starring Mr. Dream or whatever. I can see that. I can see that. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> the so, ones that talk when they're just standing uh, in the Truth be rain. told, I've never actually been to this devil statue. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's, well, uh, you gotta, nope, you're already past well, it. Well, I'm, uh, I'm going this way, uh, for another reason. Oh, well, quit crying out for help. 
if you don't want to help. Well, I just, I'm just, I'm just saying, <laughs> we're, we're, we gotta get ourselves a soup ladle, okay? We gotta get a soup ladle. You need that? Um, take it. I'll explain to the villagers. You eat your fill. Cool. Hey um, guys, I'll eat this soup ladle. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you just got a soup ladle? Yeah. What a great use of our expanded uh, inventory slot. <laughs> oh, you, we gotta. Okay, so it's kind of on the way to the house that you can buy. It's like back behind a building. Or um, like back in like a little back alley-y sort of way. Maybe turn right here. Okay. And uh, right some more. And um, hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, right there. I just saw it. To the right. It's dark. Oh, it's creep. Yeah, this thing is ultra creepy. He's gonna take your heart. Oh, we should have tried talking to him before we got a heart. Oh. Oh, I've never seen this. This is so creepy. So there are some who still pay me homage. You can talk? You don't say. You can hear my voice? He can no. talk, he can talk, he can talk. Now that I is can sing. <laughs> what were you praying for? Long life? Wealth? Like so many of your kind? Whichever it is, you came to the right place. Dealer in life and power. That was me, once. Alas, my life for money bargains didn't sit well with the goddess Hylia. She trapped me in the stone statue long, long ago. The villagers here call me the horned statue and don't even bother to wipe away the bird droppings. Ha <laughs> ha. That's what you get. One would think years upon years of such treatment would have made me mend my ways. One, One would, would think, think wrongly. wrongly. <laughs> I've only been biding my time for the moment. Someone who can hear me appear is someone such as you, but I've said enough. Now then, shall we strike a bargain and stay that way? No further action on your part is required. What? Yeah, you don't even agree oh. to it, and he just yoink. What? So I wonder, could he bring us down to two hearts? Wow. Note how I took that essence from you without leaving a mark. Wait. So uh, you could just leave at this point, but you can talk to him. Give it back. Give it back. Give it back, Alfred. You think I deceived you? Perish the thought. I hope that ours will be a long, profitable relationship. So which will it be? As I may have mentioned once or twice, I'm a dealer in life and power. I can provide you. I can take. I take heart containers or stamina vessels from you, and then, for a price, return whichever of the two you like. Give me stamina. A wise choice. So I think this one's free. Okay. <laughs> this one's free. Oh yeah, you guys almost have two wheels already. I wonder, could we? You look I, skeptical. Mm, I really want to find out. Okay, so then once... Okay, so after this... Okay. If you want to buy it So back, it basically just costs one. us 20. Got it. Because you could sell them one for... It's like a pawn shop. <laughs> it's true. All right, thanks, buddy. Okay, can you can you go down to two hearts? Well, that's what I want to know. Let's find out. Yes, please. Uh, yes. Yes. I'll try. Careful, give away any more of your heart containers. It could have a fatal effect on your health. Uh So you, it just won't let you. Oh, uh, we'll let you go below three. Never mind. It's canon. It's well, you know, we tried. What we happens tried. if you talk to him with just three, though? He probably doesn't. Oh, he just automatically takes one. He might not. I don't know. I guess we'll never know. Well, we'll basement never know, dwellers, guys. they might know. We could revert to our hard save and try it and call it an episode. Do you want to see what happens? I want to see what happens. Let's give it a try. Um, and then we'll just load our last. Actually, why don't we just? Oh yeah, we have we'll just to load our last here. auto save. Was it here? Right? Afterwards, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Here this we go. This would be fun, guys. I. Uh, oh well, let's man. Figure it out. There's, this is making me remember, like, faintly remember something. There's some way, I think, to go below the standard amount of health or life in some video game. And it was kind of a surprise to discover. Uh, if you know what I mean, comment below. I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was Zelda. It was the original Legend of Zelda. Um, your money or your life. Remember those rooms in the Master Quest? Oh, yeah. So when you beat the Legend of Zelda guys, your save file gets a little white sword in his hand, in Link's hand. Wait, do you think this is kind of like an homage to that? Your money or your life? Ooh. Well, it's your life or your stamina. Whatever. But he still takes your money. Or if you name, mine. If, if you name your uh, file save Zelda, you start with a little sword in your hand, and you right. play the second version of the original Legend of Zelda. Where are you? 
I'm up here because that's oh. where our save was. Oh. Hot. No hate. Oh, no. you exited the area. Hate? No, no hate. If you just this is the run, friendliest place on YouTube. Not if you, if you just run to the outside of the elephant, can you fast travel from there instead of having to exit the area? Oh, that's a good point. I probably could have done that. It's just I, lame to see two. I mean, I'm not blaming you, but like it would be lame for the game yeah, to sure. make us see two loading screens in a row <laughs> like that just to leave the area like if i would think that if they did that then leave the area should give you the option to fast travel anywhere instead it's of true just outside the beast you guys we're finding out new stuff like what's gonna happen we don't know we're well yeah so let me so you run over there but while i'm gonna explain this in the in, in the original legend of zelda when you're playing that second version of the game the master quest you can um it, there are certain rooms and dungeons where they'll lock you in and it says your money or your life. And if you have 100 rupees, you can pay to exit the room. And if you don't, they take a heart container and you can exit the room. And I I think people have tried to get to that room with just their original three hearts. There's a couple of them in the Master Quest. Wow. And, uh, and so you can... I think you can actually go down to two heart containers. If somebody knows for sure, please leave a comment and let us know. Uh, we, we read those and we'll, we'll respond to them. Um... But okay. Is yeah, this it? Is that, this the moment of truth? Be, I guess. Let's see. Shall we strike a bargain and stay that way? No further action on your part is required. Is he going to take your stamina? <gasps> What's he going to do? Are we really going to get down to two oh. hearts? Oh, he did take the stamina. He took a stamina. I wanted to get down to two hearts. All right, so basement dwellers, what happens if you go straight to this guy and you haven't upgraded your hearts or your stamina? Okay, so that's going to do it for uh, this episode of yeah. You Choose How We Play Breath of the Wild. Thank you so much for all these comments that are helping us decide what to do. We got the Phantom Armor last episode because you told us to. <laughs> and uh, we we did we found a fairy and um, we uh, got that heart container in Valruta and traded in for stamina because he asked us to. And uh, tell us what to do in the next episode. We read those comments and we definitely change how we play because of that. And uh, we're... We're glad you guys are participating. Hey, until next time, Basement Dwellers, uh, we think that you are more squishy and super fantastic than... Uh, one of those stress relief balls, except it's also the activation button for a secret room in your house. Whoa. In, in the, the basement? basement.